So uh, here we go. <laughs> it is time for another one of the Greg's lists. And this is Greg's list of things that fascinate him. Fascinating. Yeah, he finds these things fascinating. I do. So, I do. It's I'm so really fun. gripped with fascination over certain advertising ploys. And lately I have been obsessed, and I've talked to you guys about this in the office. I'm obsessed with the advertising ploy of the following terms. Hand cut avocados, 100% guaranteed, and made with real ingredients. We're going to start with hand cut avocados. Saying that the avocados on my sandwich are hand cut is supposed to be what? Impressive or <laughs> fancy or, <laughs> yeah. or special? How else are you going to cut them? With your feet? The more I think about it, the more I think that, yes, cu cutting avocados with anything other than your hands, then I'm intrigued. <laughs> then that would that be special. <laughs> now, if you said to me, hey, this California omelet with the avocados on top, those were cut by ankle. I'd say, you know what? Not only Whoa. am I getting that, yeah. I will pay extra for it. <laughs> if you said the guacamole was made with, uh, you know, shoulder blade cut avocados, Sign me up. I'm buying them. See, I get like when people are talking about like how something has been prepared that will then affect the taste. Yeah, but, like, that's, that's how always you, my mystery. Like cutting well, it by hand or it cutting it by different. machine. Yeah. It would yeah. taste the same. I think yeah. what I'm with you on that. Trying Greg. to say is like they put care into I'm, putting I'm the sandwich together. Just fascinated by anybody who falls for it or even came up with it. <laughs> uh, then the, I'm seeing this on packages of meat at the grocery store. Raw meat, like a steak or just some mm -hmm. chicken, in a package, and there's a little sticker that says 100% guaranteed. What does that mean? Guaranteed what? To be chicken? Like, I, I, I didn't graduate from culinary school. I don't have a Michelin star, but I can, with quite a degree of certainty, look into a clear package and say, yeah, that's chicken thighs. Much like I'm fascinated with shark experts. Shark experts say that sharks don't want to eat humans because we are not in their food chain. Humans are not a shark's natural food. So... When you're trying to attract a great white shark, for example, you're a shark expert, you're doing a documentary, what do they do? They chum the water, and then they hang a side of beef over the edge of the boat and into the water. So human meat, not in a shark's natural food chain, but beef is. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you saw a cow swimming in the ocean? I'll tell you the last time I saw a cow in the ocean, it was a quarter past never. My Be last trip to Cancun. Yeah. Same Bewildering. Here. I was my in the Dominican Republic. Yeah, my wife saw one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was in the beef water a lot. Yeah. Just for the blood. They eat the beef. So don't tell me human meat is not in a shark's food chain, but cows are. <laughs> so shark experts, you fascinate me, you bewilder me. And finally, I want to end with this one. We've all seen stand-up comedy specials, the ones worth one featured comic doing an entire hour. You know, Joe Coy, Louis C.K., Amy Schumer, whoever. And then at the end, the credits roll. One of those credits is for director i am fascinated to find out how do you get that gig i mean all they're doing is sitting in a control room going uh camera two and then three mm -hmm. minutes later they're saying a uh, wide shot camera one and then it's like oh it looks like uh, you know dave Chappelle is walking left to right pan the camera left to right like what else are you going to do with the camera he's walking left to right <laughs> yeah. you need a director for that it's a guy on stage right yeah. directing a stand-up comedy special is that the most entry-level directing gig in the director community? Kind of like if you want to be the manager at Trader Joe's, you have to start with, you know, a bagger. So if you want to direct TV shows and movies, do they say at first you gotta you gotta direct comedy specials? I'm sure there's an answer, but again, <laughs> I don't want to know. I just want to be fascinated.